my name is Laura Marie and I wanted to show you my disabled permaculture garden. This is the pink kitty pool that we picked up maybe like a year and a half ago. And uh, as you can see, it's disintegrating. The edges are breaking and that's making quite a mess, which I did not anticipate. But here are these beautiful little fava beans and a little beautiful little lettuce. The olives blooming. The daffodils bloomed. This little kind. And they're done now. There's this square bed that is full of those little fava beans. And the, the blossoms are white and black. I think they're so pretty. And the bean stalks look so strong. There's Kuan Yin nestled among the bean plants. This is a little succulent that we picked up from the community garden that had been abandoned. And this is some chia, which grew all winter, and this is the last one to still be alive. There's some old basil in this box, and this is the pear tree, Bartlett pear. Mm -hmm. This square bed, the tree collar, it's bloomed a lot. So I don't know if some seeds will come of these flowers. Some of the flowers we picked and ate and some we've just ignored. Here's some pepper plants that have a few little, little peppers on them. This is an agave. Here are some uh, brassicas that Gave us a couple cauliflowers and oh hello beautiful bee. How are you little darling? Thank you for pollinating. This is a Brussels sprout that we just let keep growing and growing so it's doing this. This was a cauliflower. This was another cauliflower. This was the broccoli. The broccoli went to seed. Here's some more of that cute little beautiful butter lettuce and this is the chard that bloomed last year I guess and now it's gone mad with leaves that I could eat here are a couple of dinosaurs there's some parsley over there more tree collard here and here this has the purple leaves so beautiful and it's like a little Firecracker sage, that's not a true sage. A little lavender, some lemon, lemongrass, and uh, some volunteer palm tree. They come up all over. Here's some mint and little succulents. There's aloe and a wandering Jew. Some other mint, that mint from our friends in Arizona. More wandering Jew and mint. Over here, this huge olive has little pups in it with it, and here's some uh, grapevine. Grapevine, yep. There's some garlic chives of some kind over there, and some bulb that never makes it to flowering. It shoots up leaves and then never flowers. And our old pumpkin, rotting pumpkin from October. And a bunch of things that are full of pine needles you know so this soil is super acidic now because this conifer wait not this conifer <laughs> that conifer keeps dropping its uh, needles in there here the fig tree is leafing out and uh, here's some more olive blooming but I wanted to show you the um, the Asian pear blooming so it's a special time because the can you see those beautiful little white flowers on there only a few of them but they're so pretty they're gonna maybe give us some fruits this year who knows yeah these pictures the shadow isn't breaking out too well but yeah thank you for taking this garden tour and love to your garden and whatever is growing for you 
Here are a few leaves coming out of this little pear.